Stephanie here with Eyes on the Game here in Florida being joined by Platinum Mike Perry. Now you are fighting Alex Oliveira uh, tomorrow. Uh, first off, how did this camp go for you? Everything was fantastic. Eyes on the game, huh? Ain't no games being played tomorrow. Listen, all the technique I did in camp, when it came down to my last sparring, I went in there and I just fought and that's what I plan on doing tomorrow night. I'll let the technique take over, but I'm going to go wild. I'm going nuts. I'm going crazy. I'm throwing blows for big old bows and looking for the KOs. So that's how it's going to go. What round for the KO? I can't, I'm not good at guessing when because it could happen whenever it wants to. Uh, I think when the time is right, it'll land all on its own. I set him up with the footwork and the movement. Throw big shots at him, stop the takedown, and I hit him until he can't take no more. Now, what did you learn from your fight against Cowboy Cerrone? I mean, the biggest thing I learned was that I never needed to go train with those people over there. It was a great experience, and I, I had a good time working with a lot of people over there. But I'm proud of the people that I started with, and that's who I'm back with. And, and we happen to have more people uh, the, the original team grew so much, and, and then I got to work with the great Jacare Souza now. So, you know, that was all the jujitsu I need right here at home. So you don't talk to anyone over there anymore? Uh, not really. Nothing really need to be said. Uh, we, we did some business, and uh, I got the short end of the stick. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, back, I'm back at home where, um, you know... I can manage myself and my things and the way that I'm doing stuff a little better and and I I believe the guidance over here a little more cuz I j I don't know why I just trust it a little more because I trust these people. So is it safe to say that um for the rest of your career or at least the time being you'll be here in Florida training? Yeah, absolutely. I I'll, I'll do some cross training again with with uh some other great fighters one day, you know, and we got plans to go to Australia. Who knows if I can work with Robert Whitaker out there. Uh, you know, as I say that, I think, oh, wait, my boy Jacare had fought that guy. But that's what fighting is about. We're professionals. In the back, before we walk out and face off with each other, we got to stand right behind the person we're going to go beat up tomorrow. We're professionals. You just got to swallow your pride sometimes and then you know, handle business. What advice has Jockery given you that has really, like, stuck out? Man, just go fight, man. Just have fun with it. And, you know, he's a real charismatic guy. And he's real simple. Always smiling during uh, aggressive times. All week on the weight cut, he just big cheese, man. And and he's so humble, but yet he's the most dangerous person you could ever meet. So, you know, I just respect that guy a lot. Now, speaking of weight cuts, I do know uh, you seemed kind of, you know, nervous or, or kind of upset yesterday, kind of having to lose that extra weight. Um, typically, do your weight cuts go like that or is it normally a bit smoother? No, I cut a little more in the last day or two than I usually do. It's usually like three or four, and I cut eight. So, but I've already put back on 15 or 16 pounds. So I'm looking to go in there with a big size and strength advantage. I'm assuming he'll put some weight on too, and he's tall. But I like that angle. I'm going to get under him, move inside, uppercuts and hooks, knock him the fuck out. So, so much has been going on, um, especially the past few months. You just got married to the Platinum Princess, Miss Danielle, behind the scenes. Uh, congratulations in March, right? <laughs> yes, March 30th, we, we uh, tied the knot, as they say, and got married. That's my wifey, for lifey, and uh, that's how Mikey likes it. Well, you seem like uh, you're a good rapper or poet. Ha have you written her a poem yet? Yeah, I wrote her a few poems. Y'all ain't never going to hear those, though. <laughs> a little dirty. Okay. Well, this is PG. So where's the honeymoon? 
Oh, man. Well, the honeymoon going to be tomorrow night. I'm going to beat that cowboy. I'm going to cash that check, and we're going to spend that money on a new crib or something. Oh, that's a nice honeymoon with the pool in the backyard. Definitely. I've been thinking about a pool for sure. Water slide. That's a nice touch. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. And maybe, who knows, a, a pink unicorn floaty in the back, right? That would be kind of cool for her, right? Why not? Like a big diamond. You know, she got a big diamond on her hand now. I know. I know. I, I follow you guys on Instagram. Like I said, congratulations. What do you think about, you know, just the welterweight division right now and also kind of like Usman, Covington, um, Jorge Masvidal and, and the guys within the top, you know, five? It's a tough division. Um, you know, it, it has been for years, but. I think it's tough as it's ever been now. We got wrestlers ruling at the top of the division, uh, except for Jorge Masvidal, who's more of a scrapper, but he's got great grappling, and that's what helps him scrap. So, you know, sprawl and brawl, that's my game plan. I got to stop these guys from taking me down, and then I would love a fight um, with someone more like myself. I think that's what we could see tomorrow with Cowboy, even though I do believe... Uh, I throw a few things at him. He'll be looking for the takedown. So, you know, ain't nothing to it but to do it. And uh, tomorrow night, I'm going to put him through it. Uh, very well said. Um, but Usman or Covington, who do you think wins that? Usman, I'd like to get my hands on Covington. But I definitely take that fight all day, every day. He, he, he don't scare me at all. And he ain't got to scare me. I understand that. that. That's a funny thing about that word. But what's he going to do? Lean on me? Lay on me? Nah, get out of here. If I got that man for a main event, 25 minutes, he can't lay on me for 25 minutes. He's going to have to go through hell every five-minute round he survives. Awesome. Well, we will see that um, and hopefully see that after tomorrow, your fight against Alex Oliveira. And then so you can celebrate your honeymoon uh, with you and the Platinum Princess in your new place. So congratulations once again. And again, uh, thank you for not reciting the poem. Yes, uh, you're welcome. I'm sorry I dropped that F-bomb on you, but you can bleep that out.